Alright, uh, today guys I'll be going over the best Yorick runes or masteries in the current patch. Uh, this is the current best runes and masteries, right? Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras. Last time can work as well, but I'll explain why later. Demolish uh, and Conditioning. Conditioning can be swapped out for Bone Plating. Uh, Bloodline can be placed for Tenacity sometimes. You can go Overheal as well if you want. Um, unflinching. Very, very flexible, okay? But this is the most general and best rune set. I'm gonna explain why now. Okay. So why don't we go Conqueror? Why don't we go Grasp? So, the reason why Conqueror is so good in Yorick is because of the Conqueror bug that you can do. Uh, I'll be explaining this in a future video, but basically you can get 8 stacks of Conqueror from each ghoul, and it's just incredibly powerful. You can stack it up super fast, faster than almost anyone else, and it's just absolutely insane. Once you get Conqueror fully stacked up, obviously, you're going to be a complete monster. Tons of damage, tons of healing, right? More than any other rune. Alright, Triumph. Why don't we go Triumph? Why not Overheal or something? So I see actually people ask, uh, why don't you go Overheal? Because, you know, uh, you get a shield, you have advantage over the enemy before the fight even starts. Well, the reason why I don't go Overheal is, I go tri uh, is because of Triumph's ability to win out clutch fights, alright? On the side lane, I tend to 1v2, 1v3, or 1v5 even sometimes, right? And I use Triumph to get these clutch fights much more easily, and it's just much more fun to watch on the stream as well. And it's just really cool to get those cool clips, you know? And also, I think Overheal is honestly more consistent, but this is more fun to play with. And also, who doesn't love an extra $20? Alright, so this part of runes, why don't you go attack speed? Why don't you go tenacity? Top lane, you're not going to be playing against much people with CC, if they do, they only have one, uh, and it doesn't matter that much. This gives you sustain, uh, Yorick doesn't have sustain in his kit, except for Q, but when you get into the mid and late game, it's so trivial, you don't need to care about it, and this helps you cover it up. Attack speed, eh, it's pretty alright, but you'd much better have sustain, that way you can survive in the side lane a lot longer. Alright, so this part, why not last stand? Last stand is pretty decent but the problem with last stand is let's say you have a fight right the fight could make it you could have a fight where you don't even go below 60 percent health and you don't get any value out of all any value out of it at all but coup de gras when you kill somebody when you're about to kill someone which is much more likely to happen right you have a chance it, it's always going to work right it's always going to be effective when that happens so that's why i go coup de gras so now the secondary tree, um, obviously I'm going because of Demolish, Demolish is absolutely insane, it's the best run in Yorick, uh, if you don't go this, you're a bit, you're a bit bonkers, but do what you prefer, I think Demolish is crazy, it works really well with Hullbreaker, works really well with Yorick's uh, main uh, strength, which is pushing down towers. Now this is going to be a bit of a weird one for you fellas, I go conditioning over second win of burn pitting because I play for a much more mid game, late game centric style, right? Uh, when I get into mid game and late game, um, I want to be as strong as possible and this helps me a lot. It makes me a lot more tanky and it helps me get away with going Cerodos Grudge, Bird Item, which I do almost every single game because it gives an insane amount of damage and it just, the slow just works absolutely phenomenally. Uh, sometimes I go Burn Plating if it's a really bad matchup, uh, let's say Riven or Jax where they want to all in you really quickly, Burn Plating is pretty good. Um, the conditioning is amazing as well. Addition okay, conditioning is also good because it works really well with uh, Hellbreaker, which also gives you armor and MR and the five percent. It's it's a big deal, all right. It's a big deal. And late game, uh, the only tank item I ever buy um, is is Stone Plate. Uh, Stone Plate is an absolutely amazing item in Yard because well, it's just a broken item in general uh, because it gives a lot of armor and MR, gives a shield, and it's just absolutely insane. The only weakness to the item is obviously the, the price tag, uh, but it doesn't matter because it's further in the game. For the little ones, attack speed, uh, adaptive force, and then into whatever you need. So let's say you're playing against a range uh, top laner, you got MR. If you're playing against Trind two, if you're playing against Trindamir, double armor, okay? Um, but this tends to be the best because attack speed obviously helps with CSing and breaking towers faster. Adaptive force for a bit of extra damage. You can definitely go armor and MR in the secondary tree, but I like that bit of extra damage, right? Um, this tree, same thing. 
Uh, I don't recommend going Ability Haste because the Arc doesn't really care about Ability Haste too much. It's nice, but it's not as important as on someone, say, Riven or maybe uh, Fiora. And yeah, that'll be it for the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Pretty good runes. Best runes in my opinion. Uh, I'll be teaching you guys how to do the Conqueror bug. Uh, but for now, enjoy. Good night and good luck.